I wrote the iOS and Mac OS X SSL security. Oh, role. the security, the uh, the get fail or go to fail. It's insane. I can't believe. And, and, you know, it's not as though Apple, I mean, they, you know, reported this whole themselves on themselves. But then they were just, they haven't really been... You know, as a person that you just talked about, like you're you're kind of joining an ecosystem, mm -hmm. they really didn't do much to support their ecosystem in you know in letting people know what the problem was and what not to do. Like, you know, don't go and log on to a uh, Wi-Fi network until we get this fixed, folks. You know, nothing like that. Yeah, it's so it, simple. Explain a very quick layman version of what happened with this with this flaw. Well, this will definitely be a layman version because I'm not sure that I could give you a technical <laughs> one. But the basic understanding that I have is that there's an underlying um, security library that the various um, Apple uh, OSs use as to do their SSL, to, to do their encryption. Mm -hmm. And there has been a flaw with that. I understood from one article that that's a known flaw or somehow. Um, and so when they found this problem, they were able to fix it in iOS. And so your mobile device operating system pretty quickly, or at least maybe they found the solution and they announced the problem. <laughs> I, I don't, you know, it's hard to know what was going on behind the scenes. But so that came out Friday. And I think today, as of today, they have a fix for the, um, for the desktop systems. I myself, I'm going to, you know, you talked about, uh, don't go for the first version of anything. Mm -hmm. They had to find that fix so fast. I think I'm going, and I'm, I'm just going to not log into anybody's, you know, any public Wi-Fi for a while and wait until I see them patch the patch, if you will. But mm -hmm. that's probably, but, you know, you could argue that that's a stupid approach too. Depends on whether you have to be online. I heard a real interesting version of uh, how that all came about. Uh, a pretty intelligent person I heard was was talking about the every time a major operating system comes out like this or something, the NSA does what the NSA does and they go and bombard it and try to find a way in mm -hmm. and they found a way in, dropped it on the public and there's already a patch out. So I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. Well, but well it's, uh, it's, yeah. It, and some background, have the capabilities. In some background to that. They actually say something like this has been around since um, uh, what? 10.7. Say what? We're on 10.9 now. When this was in six, this was in the versions of six is well, iOS six. IOS, I because they had to release a, a six patch because people on the three GS. Yeah. Couldn't go to iOS seven. Yeah. But they are, they did release this fix. So it was that year. So I, as far as something devices. like that, it, like, like, like it's nothing that they did lately and they found it. And that's the weird thing is the people that, that know a bit of coding that have been talking about this, uh, have said that this is like, it looks like a mistake. Like it's just straight. Right. It looks like somebody hit control V one more, one, two, I'm sorry. It's Apple command V one too many times <laughs> on something. Um, <laughs> And uh, and that was it, you know. Um, but if you want to go down that route, you could say, well, that's something they put in there that you know somebody slipped in there. That would be easy. But it, but it's one of those. Other than the fact that it's like lines, millions of lines of code, it's kind of an easy thing for a coder to identify as a problem. And that's why it was found the way it was. I think. I don't know because. The... The, the, from I, what I've read is, is is it's kind of like a man in the middle attack. And when you yeah. when you read these articles about don't connect to Wi-Fi that you don't know what it is, uh, make sure that you're you're using some kind of.